Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to generate basic design strips for a two-way elevated concrete slab and ram concept. For this video, we will review the design span orientation and skew angles and make adjustments as necessary. Now before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the design spans plan in our latitude direction. Now what you're going to notice is that we do have a fairly irregular column layout in this direction and several of our design spans are skewed. Now it's important to note that design strips will be typically set up so that they cover the slab in two orthogonal directions and that the detailed reinforcement is typically perpendicular to the cross section. So before we make any changes, let's go ahead and review the detailed reinforcement and the cross sections in this direction. Now to obtain all that information, you will need to perform a preliminary calculation first. Once the calculation is performed, let's go ahead and take a look at our cross section perspective plan for again, the latitude direction. So here we'll be able to see the cross sections for each of the strips within the model. Again, we're gonna notice that the detailed reinforcement will be perpendicular to these cross sections. So if we were to take a look at that in detail on the reinforcement plans, let's go with the latitude bars plan, we'll be able to see that reinforcement. And again, it is perpendicular to those cross sections. Now for this example, we're gonna say that we would rather set up our reinforcement so that it's set up in two orthogonal directions, basically the X and the Y directions. Now to do that, we're gonna to return to our latitude design spans plan. We're gonna notice these skewed design spans and we're gonna notice this little tick mark on them. That will let you know that the cross sections will be perpendicular to this design span. Now, what I'd rather is that the cross sections are parallel to the orthogonal directions. Now, before I invoke my tool, I'm gonna to go ahead and select all of the spans within my model in the latitude direction. Then, in my layer specific toolbar, I will find this tool to orient the span cross sections, okay? What I'd like to do is I would like to orient them parallel to the global Y axis. Now I could just click on two different column locations since I know that those are parallel, or I can come up here and select this tool. This is a snap to orthogonal. With this tool selected, I can click anywhere in the screen and you can see it's clicking to the orthogonal directions. So I'm gonna click anywhere above where I just clicked. And what you're gonna notice is that the skewed spans now have their tick mark a parallel to the global Y axis. Let's go ahead and rerun that preliminary calculation and see the effect on our plans. Now that we finished that process, let's return to our latitude cross section perspective. We can see that all of the cross sections are parallel to the global Y axis. And if we were to take a look at our reinforcement, our reinforcement has been reoriented to be parallel again with the global X axis. That would be perpendicular to those cross sections. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.